I'll start that one first. Today is 12.07, what is this? March 13th, Wednesday, 2024, All right? Okay, and then I'm gonna hit this one here. Go live, three, two, one, All right? Okay, I'm live, yay, so it's whatever time it is there. 13 March 2024, Wednesday the 13th, March 12.08 p.m., just after lunch. I've got a uh, very rare, let me bring it up so you can see it. That's the model number, okay? You can see it, all right? There you go, all right. So got it plugged in, I'm playing a CD through it, okay? And let me just, uh, Turn it around like it's plugged in because I don't have uh, see. And then here's the the front of it. Alright, so it looks like that. This and that. Alright, so see that like that? Okay, now I'm gonna set this down. Like I said, I'm playing the CD through it. Okay, so and uh see it's got VU meters, it's plugged in, so the lights will work. See the lights like there? The lights light up, okay, when you press that button. Got a loud this button here. On the screen I've got the generic uh generic uh interpretation of what the controls mean and such. So this will be your recording sliders, this is your bass and treble sliders, this is your volume. It's loud. This takes 10D batteries, by the way. Okay. This is the tape deck. Now, let me flip it over to... That's the power, right? And then this is on CD, so if you hit the power, like that, okay? Or if you turn the power off, you hit the tape player, right? The uh, CD will play, so it goes like this. So that's how that works, right? But we're not going to do that. We're going to turn that off. So we'll turn the power back on, right, without the tape deck. We'll switch it over to FM. Okay. The FM works. AM works. Yes, people. And that's line in. And then doesn't have phono plugged in, but that's phono if it had a phono plugged in. Okay, so I'm just using regular line in. Now, turning this off, going to tape, which is this button here. Okay. Very, very hard to hear, but I'll try to be quiet. My mom's playing the TV in the background, so got to have the door closed, but still. I know you can barely hear that, but the motor is running inside this machine. But nothing is working, so let me hit stop. Let's eject. Okay. And where's my cassette? Oh yeah. Cassette still on the radio I was using yesterday, so here's that one, right? So, <laughs> um, so anyway, I may have to tape out of there. There's that. Okay, so now let me put this in here and just show you that nothing works. There's that, so hit that, nothing, that, nothing, play, nothing, okay? Do I want to do this or that because it's not in play mode, so put it in play mode, won't do that. I'm sorry. Put it in this mode, hit cut, there's cut. Do that one, won't do that either, so hit cut again, hit stop. Alright, so <clears throat> I've got belts, I'm going to replace the belts. I just wanted to show it to you in a brief little video, and it's got a handle, okay? It's got both antennas, and that need to tighten, you know, both tips are there, if you can see that, there's, and that's not all the way down, but, oh well, not worried about that. Okay, so, there it is, so there's that, and like I said, this had, oh, if, okay, so now, oh, I just can't move that off that with my hand. So I'm going to bring this up and zoom into the screen and just show you 
the YouTube people what I was doing here is I was made this picture, made that picture. Let me get out of here. So I, I did that. I went searching for the belts. I found Boomboxery and I found uh, Marvac website to buy the belts from. But then I just basically searched around to find that it takes a possibly a 10.1 belt. Alright, so this is all my searching. So it takes that belt and then here I was searching for the again the box size cross-reference list and then my own notes in notepad and that's the belt I think it takes because I have the well here's the PRB uh, reference or no the PRB rubber belt line whatever and then here's the reference thing and then here's that and then um, somewhere in here let's see here no that wasn't it Wait. Oh, there. Okay, I do have the service manual for the 96, 96, and other models, but I don't have it for the Sharp GO, GF305. But I'm sure it's very similar. Let's see, do I have the 305? I have 95. I got the I got the 86, 90, 90, Got all these, but I don't have it for the 90 uh, for this 305. So I even have it for the 50. I got all the all of them, but I can't find it for the 90. But anyway, so this is just a rare model. You haven't seen this here. Let me get out of here. So you haven't seen this on the internet, but it is a 305 ST, which means it's a uh, silver model. That's all I can glean from the internet. But I just wanted to show it to you like that. That it does or let me get a cell phone here and undo that. Alright, so that's what it looks like. Okay. Uh, it does work. Let me put it back on the, the CD, which is over here, right? The volume works. So, and the loudness works. It's hard to hear. It does increase the bass a little bit. And here's your funnel in the front and line in the back of the ground. Okay. And this has your speed control for the cassette and your echo, take counter, and all that. So I'm going to get to it and repair this. Alright, so good day, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I've got to get to work on this. Bye bye. And I just so I'm gonna sign off from here. Thanks for watching. Good day. Bye bye. Gotta go. Get, get to work on this.